Hola mi gente, my name is Genesis, aka Donut Mommy, and this is Viva Chicago. Today we're in the neighborhood of Logan Square in the north side of Chicago exploring Casa Yari. It's a female owned restaurant specializing in Latin cuisine. I hear they're serving the number one flan in town and your girl loves some dessert. So let's go check it out, talk to the owner and explore the patio. Let's go inside. For your safety and security, they do have their outside patio available. They have a few tables outside. You can come here. It's a really cute date spot, honestly. So look around. Super pretty flowers with umbrellas. So it's so cute. So we're here in your patio, Yari. Tell us a little bit about Casa Yari. Well, Casa Yari uh, opened up in 2013. Uh, I actually was already a chef at a, a previous account for a catering company. Uh, I, would, I was doing that specific location for about nine years. And then um, I just decided to open my own place because it was like the frustration of not being able to cater more of like the Latino cuisine. Um, and whenever they did wanted to do like, you know, uh, Latino cooking, it was more Americanized. So um, I was a little frustrated as a chef, not being able to showcase what I actually um, learned. Uh, I was born and raised here in Chicago. My father's from Honduras and my mom is from Puerto Rico. So I have a fusion of different types of cuisines together. So being able to kind of like put it in, in, in a plate um, for me was like, yeah, I, it's no brainer. I have to do this. So what's the story behind Casa Yari? So is this, do you live here? Or is this just like kind of like the feel of the house and that's what you get when you come here that you get expect that? Because I've always was the chef of the house. <laughs> Every time there was like holidays or get togethers or whatever it was, it was always at my house and I was always the one cooking and catering for everybody. Um, so every time, um, especially like my younger cousins, they were very close to me. Uh, they're like, oh, we're gonna go to Jody's house. We're gonna go to Jody's house. Yeah. So the whole Jody's house just came up, except that I didn't want it in English. So I went with the Spanish. Yeah. It had a better flavor to it anyways. So that's where Casa Yari came. I actually intentionally decorated with the colors of orange, burgundy, um, and purple, because those are my favorite colors. I don't know, it gives me that, that kind of feeling of the Latino culture. So I added that to the restaurant. So when you come inside, you actually see photos of my family, my grandmother, my dad, uh, my cousins. So uh, I want you to come in and feel like you're actually dining at my house. I don't want you to feel like you're dining at an actual restaurant. I know you mentioned that this is in between Logan Square and Humboldt Park. So is there a reason why you chose this location? Yes, I intentionally did do that. Um, creating the restaurant we're in the middle of the diversity it's like perfect for me what's your favorite part about having your own place i have the liberty of choosing what i want to cook as a woman chef in the industry it's very hard to voice your opinion um it's hard to tell you know the chef oh how about we cook this this way it, there's always that you know um no maybe it won't sell that well or whatever the case might be um, so that I have that freedom to do that. I consider myself an artist. The plates are my empty canvases and I love to show off and just do all my creativity things on that canvas. Good, well segue into that, it's a perfect segue. We have all of this delicious food yes. right here and like you said, it's super colorful, like the inside, you know, but that vibrant, um, you know, color and like exudes like the culture you know yeah. that we have as latinos yes. so I, it really comes off like this and it's like so pretty how you decorated it so can you talk a little bit about some of these dishes maybe starting with this one okay so this is called dobladas uh, which means folded uh, in honduras we actually eat our tacos fried we don't eat them soft so these are like a, a different type of tacos this one specifically is vegan so you can try it vegan um it does come with ca red cabbage on top fresh and uh the inside for this one is actually soy curls with peppers um the other option would be the chicken one uh and it comes with queso fresco this one will come with the regular um vegan cheese and then we put the pickled um red onions and some limes because you gotta squeeze limes mm -hmm, in there yeah and it does have a spicy little 
kick yeah. sauce on there. It's a uh, serrano Ooh, sauce. Yeah, that sounds good. And it looks really fresh too. Like the tacos look extra oh, yeah. crispy. I oh, just yeah. can't wait to yeah. bite into yeah. that. So that looks really good. Yeah, awesome. It's one of our popular dishes for sure. Look to your right, this dish right here. So this is called the trifongo. This is actually our most um, popular mofongo. We have over 12 different kinds of mofongo and we rotate them every week. So we pick three. But this one, I could never take it out because customers <laughs> will not be happy with me if I take these out. Yeah. So this one's actually like a surf and turf. So there's steak, churrasco yeah. steak, um, shrimp. And then this right here is the mofongo, which is mashed of um, cassava, which is yuca, uh, sweet um, plantain, and green plantain. So it's mashed up together with like a garlic sauce. And then um, we do a little cup and then garnish it. And then the sauce is like a gravy sauce that we cook the shrimp in. Try this taco. And they're fried. They're like deep fried twice. You heard that crunch? <laughs> that is so good. Really delicious. Like, I've never seen an avocado that's stuffed with chicken salad, but it's super good. It's just delicious. Like soft, and then you get like the crunchiness of those tostones afterwards. And it's just amazing known for flan. So this one is a uh, platano maduro with rum raisin, actual rum. And then we got the strawberry cheesecake flan. And then we got the vegan coconut flan. Okay. They make 55 flavor because you might not like all 55. And like I told you, I'm like, I've never seen a place that has 55 <laughs> flavors of flan. <laughs> so that's amazing. Yeah, yeah no wonder why you're voted best flan in town. Yeah, I, I went a little overboard. No, that's good. You gotta do it. You gotta get that name right there. Alright, that was so delicious. I'm gonna take one last bite of this flan. Am I good to go? So thanks for tuning in to Viva Chicago and check us next time. <laughs>